white guy. What is up, Travel Squad? We are back at it again. Back at it again. And today, we're somewhere new. We just landed in Cancun, Mexico. And why are we here, Laura? We are here because of you guys, really. I mean, you guys have constantly been talking about us doing like an all-inclusive. You guys gave us a lot of recommendations. And so we decided to try an all-inclusive in Mexico. I'm so excited. We've never done anything like this before. And we're actually not staying in Cancun. This is not our final destination. We have a little like an hour drive to Playa del Carmen and yes. then we can go to our resort. It's kind of crazy out here. This is what I hated about MSC when the first time we got on it. And there's so many people trying to get your attention. So yeah, if you ever come to Mexico, or Cancun area, be sure that people are gonna try to like, not hustle you, but just trying to like solicit you. It's a little bit wild here. You gotta be a little firm, I would say, with saying yeah. no thank you. All right, let's go find our driver. <laughs> well, look at that. We got our, our driver, we met him. We're about Five to get to the hotel. service. Right here. Laura, did you see this? There's a whole bar you can order drinks and stuff should from. Should we get a beer for the road? Yeah, should we get a beer for the road? Oh, they have the tall like yard drinks too. Vacation time, baby. Oh, he just took our bags. This is service. And Bane handed me this one. <laughs> oh, I'll take, okay, here, you take no, the camera. It's fine. Yeah, Laura, this terminal is very confusing, very chaotic. If you don't like people coming up to you and talking to you and you want your peace, don't come to Cancun. Book your taxi before you get here. Yes, please. That's a good advice right there. There's another drink stand. Oh, really? Right taxi. Oh, yeah, look at that. Yeah, cold beers, margaritas, cold drinks. I like this place. I really hope you have this whole van to ourselves because it's pretty empty in here. And this is like a nice private shuttle. I think this is the biggest van I've ever seen. <laughs> look at how many levels it has. Oh, yeah, it does have steps. Should we sit in the back? Because all the cool kids sit in the back. It feels like some VIP service. Watch him open the door and like 10 more people get in. I still can't believe they have a drink stand just chilling right there with the margarita glasses. I did hear a lot about this place growing up, so it makes sense. Like, I have to keep reminding myself that we are not on a cruise. Like, I know we've kind of been here before, but I'm like, oh yeah, we're actually going to a hotel right now. We're not on like an excursion. We're not going back to the cruise ship. Did you see the water? We are flying in. Look up the window. Mm -hmm. It was nice and blue. It reminded me of Bermuda. I think everything reminds me of Bermuda. But I don't know about you though. We haven't really eaten in a while, so I'm kind of like hungry right now. I feel like you're I the same of way. I like hungry. I think you're the same way because you're not really talking as much. I'm hungry and very dehydrated. dehydrated. There we go. We're here. Yay! We went pretty fast actually. We're finally here. We're at the Hilton Playa del Carmen, our first all inclusive resort here. I can go around this way so you don't have to look in the sun. Thank there we go. Thank you. Appreciate it. No, it's honestly like kind of in the middle of this like downtown, to pretty touristy looking area. I mean, it is downtown Playa del Carmen. Yeah, but I didn't. I didn't expect it to just be like right here. I thought it would be kind of like off, off in the in cut. A path, you know? But yeah, it looks absolutely beautiful. We've already had really great service. They yeah. took our bags. They're gonna bring them to our room. I know, they got tickets. I'm ready to be spoiled. Just look how grand this entrance is. Even the ceiling over there looks nice, like stained glass. Last time we saw stained glass like that, Laura, was in Porto when we went to McDonald's. She's beautiful. And as Laura was saying, that's literally downtown. So the hotel is right here and downtown is right there. Oh, thank you. Sure. Fresh towels. Wow, hold on, well, can you, you can give it to her. Is that my <laughs> handful, thank you. Thank you so much. Wow. Cucumber lemonade. How is it? Mm. It tastes like a non-alcoholic version of our um, cucumber sunrise. Oh. So we got these towels. We only get these on cruises on port Dave. It's really nice. It smells like like lavender and like, I don't know, it just smells like a spa. Cheers. Cheers, my love. Cheers. Yeah. Keep Good, right? Hard. Yeah. I don't know about you, Laura, but I keep smelling these towels because they smell oh, really I do good. Too. I just keep like, oh. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I need to figure out how to make our towels at home smell like this. Oh, there we go. Got yourself a wristband, just like we did on Virgin. Yeah. It's official, we're finally here, checked in and everything, which is really nice. Let me just open this up for you guys. I am excited to see our room though, and honestly, this place is more beautiful than the it looked online. You guys probably saw in the background, but look at this place, it's like in the shade right now. But they have like swim up pools over there, and that's just one side. There's a whole nother side on the other side of the building. And then the ocean, it's all the way out there. I'm excited for the room too. I want one of these swim up suites though. It looks like they're setting up for a wedding over here. Like just how the chairs are situated and it's like pointing the gazebo. It's our wedding. 
Oh, surprise. Yeah. When are you going to propose to me then? I already did. When? All right, here we go. 3225, our first ever room at an all-inclusive. I don't know how these scan because it's just wood, but it, it just works. Oh, it's cold. <gasps> Stop. Oh, wow. This is nice. This is nice. This might be the nicest hotel room we've ever stayed in. Wow, wow. Nice size TV. And we get a hot tub in the room. I don't want to leave this resort. We don't need to go explore the city. Can you imagine this as a um, cruise cabin? Um, let's go put our stuff down and then we can do a room tour later. I'm just kind of hungry. Oh, you want to also take off that sweater in New Mexico? Please, I'm dying. So we just got here. If you guys are excited to see what we get into, please, please go ahead and subscribe down below. It is free. You can always subscribe later. Yeah, Have if you decide free. you don't like us. Yeah, give us a seven day free trial. You can child. Give us your child. <laughs> but no, give us a seven day free trial. And if you don't, you can unsubscribe hassle free. But come with us as we check out our first all inclusive because I'm excited. This already has exceeded my expectations and- We have a hot tub. In, in our room. room. And this is a hammock. Oh, wow. Where do you, oh, we hook it over there. Like, why are we only here four nights? I'm kind of mad. I got a real question though for you, Laura. Why are we still cruising? I don't think we're gonna be cruisers after this. <laughs> like, it's about the same price. We've been converted and it's been five minutes. Off to get some food, but this side, this pool seems a lot different, Laura. This is the party pool. Yeah, this is definitely the party pool. I think we might be hanging out here a little bit. I think there's a lot of bachelor and bachelorettes here. Yeah, I think right over there, there's like a whole party. It seems like a lot of fun. It's a good place to have a bachelorette, I will say. Wow, just look at this. I'm sorry I keep stopping, but I'm just like, the ground, like the landscaping and everything, it looks so nice over here. I wish these beds were included. Oh yeah, these beds you have to pay for, which kind of sucks, but I mean, hey. So we stopped at this place called Barefoot Grab and Go. It's a healthier option on the premises. And it looks like it has a lot of good things. Like obviously there's pizza and all that, but then they have like shakes and smoothies and all that I believe, right Laura? Yeah, it sounds really good. I don't know if you can hear them in the pool, but I keep yelling shots, shots. I I'm heard like, it. I'm like, that is my thing. Also, we got some of this mango sherbet. It's like super creamy. Oh my God, you know what they're doing? What? They're walking around with a bottle of liquor and pouring it. Oh, like spring break? Oh, dope. Wanna Just get in the pool? Go jump in the pool? Yeah. Oh, I'll give me some more of that. It tastes like actual mango, like not like artificial, like actual mango. Wow. Yeah, this is fire. So for my meal, I got a poke bowl. It has, a, it looks like it has tuna on it and it has some Obviously, carrots, all that rice down below. Oh, it even has like greens and peas and all that. I got something with a few more calories than Fane's. I got the margarita pizza. And, and all the toppings the just fell off. Just fell off. <laughs> it's too hot right now, though. Ah. Does it feel like we're on cruise day, boarding day? Yes and no, but this feels a little less chaotic to me. The airport, though. The airport was a lot, but. I don't know. I guess it's because this is like a big open resort and not like an enclosed ship. Yeah. But I'm feeling pretty good. Like I'm enjoying this. It's just so quiet and chill. You guys probably hear the water in the background, but other than that, I do like how Laura said like it's open. It's so open. You don't feel, it doesn't feel crowded. Maybe we're during the off season, but like I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it at all. I see why you guys do this and why you guys recommended this stuff. All right, Fane. <sighs> Time what? to go find the bar. Yeah, first drinks of the day, baby. We're gonna Yay! get that in. Yeah, My favorite part of the day. Did you find a bar yet? Yes, follow okay. me. Lead the way, Princess Laura. I'm guessing we're heading into this place right here. I think it's a restaurant, isn't it? I think there might be a bar in here though. Maybe not. Get out of here. So this is our first drink of the day. And it's the same drink that we got when we first walked in. Well, we put vodka in it. And it kind of reminded us of Cucumber Sunrise. It's like a healthy drink and put vodka cheers. in it. Hi, my name is Fane, and this is my first drink of the day. Hi, my name is Laura, and this is my first drink of the day. Hi, my name is Fane, and this is my second drink of the day. And this is also Laura's second drink of the day. I got the same thing. Cheers, Travel Squad. Here's to another amazing video, another amazing week. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Let me get a grip on this thing. Yeah, that's what she said. Mm. Something that's almost a little bit perplexing to me and that is actually a really cool perk, any of these bars or food stands you go up to, 
they don't have to scan a card oh, or yeah. any type of wristband. You just go get your drink and I'm like kind of sitting there waiting for the bill to come and nothing. They just give you your drink. It makes sense because like you have to have these wristbands on and then once they see them, they're like, okay, cool. But it's still like, even on, even on Carnival, even on Margaritaville, even Virgin, if they know you have like the drink packet, they still have to scan your card every single time. Obviously it's not hard to sign a receipt, but it's just like very, very like, like chill. I think you should get like a spa treatment. I feel like this environment, you haven't done one in a while. You should probably check out, get a massage or something. Okay, I am gonna go book my massage. So I'm gonna see you later. Do you want to take a little sunset walk on the beach with me? Sure. Sounds like you really don't want to though. It's just warm, but you know what? Let's go. I think we might not be doing the beach walk because this is the beach. These are supposed to be day beds and all that stuff. You can see the water is coming in pretty high. Mother nature, right? Like there's no beach at all. Wow. At least people are still in the water enjoying it, stuff like that. I'll like, definitely still come down here and get in the water. Are those exercise bikes in the water? I think so. I legit have never seen that in my life. I could see someone getting really drunk and then like coming over here and like. <laughs> All right, those drinks were good. I'm glad we did a little walk. It's a lot cooler out right now. But I think we're gonna go back to the room, make a dinner res and get ready to go to dinner and check out what an all-inclusive specialty restaurant has to offer. We'll find out if the desserts are cruise ship desserts or actually good desserts. <laughs> and with Laura saying cruise ship desserts, those are mainly just like they looked amazing, but the taste isn't there at all. Like there's no taste, they're not sweet, it's just like. The ocean view, pool. Not really, because I don't want to see what I'm missing. I mean, I don't think we're missing anything. Like it's a pool, the beach isn't the best. There's no, it's not setting over there. I think we're Gucci. I'm not insanely jealous, just no. a little. Same here. And then all the way in the distance, I don't know if you guys can see this, but you see the buildings on the horizon? That's Cozumel, Mexico, where all the cruise ships go. What is up, Travel Squad? And welcome to my Cancun Playa del Carmen Villa. Come on in. Let me show you guys around. We over here and we have the bathroom area. We have kids and her sinks, mirror. Obviously Laura gets the left one because she has the makeup mirror over here. Then we have the safe hair dryer scale. So you know how much weight you gain while you're you here. Touching that. And we have some robes, umbrella, ironing board. This feels really luxurious because it's like so big. And then we come over here to the bathroom, El Baño, because we're, we're in Mexico. <laughs> we have the ordinary toilet, then this big shower, rainfall, shower head, close the door. We have a little seat right here. We can, just right. pop, we can ponder later. our thoughts. We also have some pre like resort shampoo, body lotion, all that stuff. We also have this little towel rack. Oh yeah, little towel rack. Let's head out of the El Baño and head back into this area where we have a coffee maker. We have a mini fridge down here, pretty stocked. We had some drinks and beers out of here, so it's not too much left over. Then we just have some storage of like two drawers. Pretty simple, but the main the main feature of the whole place. Wait, 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 wait. You forgot something really cool. The mirror? Oh, the box? Mm-hmm, the magic so, box. So they call this like the magic black box or whatever like that. I read online in their like Facebook group that sometimes when you like buy a bottle of tequila or a bottle of vodka or like some clothes or whatever like that. And you have to go and you can't fit in your backpack or you're fitting your suitcase or whatever it is that you bought with you. People usually put like whatever they have left over in here in this little box area and then message the Facebook group and saying, hey, room so and so and so and so, we have this in this room. They pass on like sunscreen and liquor and all that stuff. They put in the box, you go to the box when they leave, open it up, take the stuff out and it's yours. I think they said they officially use this for like room service and all that. Maybe we'll leave something special in there. And then we come into here, and this is the ba the bedroom, but I don't know how to say bedroom in Spanish, so forgive me. We have our luggage, we have a TV, we have a 10 to 15 foot mirror right there. And then we come over here, we have a king size bed, two nightstands on each side, a table, little sit off nook area with another big mirror. The huge feature of the room is a hot tub in. Oh my God. A hot tub. Oh, it's, oh, it's wet in here. Yeah, you didn't I use it. Did you use it? I, I tested the water oh out. Oh my gosh, Laura. Anyway, just sit down. There's a two seater hot tub in here. <laughs> my socks are all wet now. <laughs> and yeah, you can just chill in the hot tub with all these jets. This is a really deep hot tub. So nice. What is a worse feeling than wet socks? <laughs> I'm sorry. 
Also, a little side note, I'm kind of obsessed with the lighting right here. Come over here, there's like a little table desk area. And then out here is the balcony. Wrong way, there we go. And it's a pretty nice size balcony. This is the first time I've ever like done it all inclusive. This is the first time I've ever been in Mexico without being on a cruise. Yeah, same This is a here. lot of firsts. Like we started this year off saying that there's gonna be a lot of firsts and it has been a lot of firsts for both of us. Honestly, Thane, I think this might be the nicest resort or hotel room I've ever stayed in. It's beautiful. This is really nice. You know what we need to do though? What? We need to go to dinner. Oh, we do. see if we can get a reservation. <gasps> this is that good air conditioning. That celebrity cruise ship air conditioning? Woo! Yeah, it's a lot of human titties out there, so oh God, it's a little it's warm. I see. I, we always crank it down to like the lowest possible temperature when we get to a hotel. You guys sleep better when it's cold or warm in your house. Fuck, like there's only right one right answer. I know. I cannot sleep unless it's slightly cool. If it's cold, I sleep very well. I know you guys like seeing this, so this is Laura's outfit for the night, her first night in Cancun. What do you guys think? You guys have seen this before. Do I have to do a twirl? How many times have we done this? There we go. Boom. This is from Pink Lily. Uh, it's one of my favorite shops online. And they probably, I doubt they sell this exact dress anymore. I think I got this like last winter. Yeah, they have tons of really cute stuff like this. And then this is what I'm wearing. Basic, but I have a jellyfish shirt and everyone seems to like the jellyfish shirt. So there it we go. It matches your hair. Yeah, I guess so. Always. It is so quiet back here. I feel like I can hear a pin drop. Like it's no music, it's just nothing. I just hear Laura's foot flop. You know, you've called me a horse before because of these shoes. Yeah, it sounds like you're galloping. See, exactly. Horse girl. Trying to go to dinner over here. And of course, Laura finds a precious little cat. Oh wow, she's very friendly. Now she's taking pictures of the cat through the door. Did you get a good one? There you go. If you didn't know, Laura likes cat. And she's doing it again. <laughs> Got him again. And I don't mind it. I just, I'm just messing with her. Like I like cats too. I'm not trying to be mean. So yeah, I, I support Laura's cat fetish. You don't have to expose my obsession though. Oh, fancy, fancy. Look at that lychee teeny. I'm confusion. Why, what's up? This looks like a mango teeny. They, usually they're clear pretty much. That's what I thought too. Tastes like it? It's great. Does it taste like mango? It tastes like mango mixed with lychee. And then I can't remember what I got even though I just said it. <laughs> oh, the apple. The apple sake. I'm gonna try that one next. Our first real meal at an all-inclusive resort. What did you get for your appetizer? The spring roll. It smells so good. You want me to eat one to test it to see if it's good? And then I got the Vietnamese roll. It's more veggie. These chopsticks are too advanced for me. That's why he gave us forks. I can use the wooden ones. The, the plastic ones are harder. He legit looked at us and was like, they need some forks. <laughs> Which he was right. He told me, he was like, I brought this for safety. And the tradition has already started. Laura decided to get some a dinner. She got beef and broccoli after I ordered beef and broccoli because I went first. I did not hear you order that. Cheers, <laughs> here we go. Two peas of the pod. That's gonna be hard to top. Like the desserts were good, the food was good, the drinks were good. The drinks. That lychee martini was absolutely dangerous. I kept asking, uno mas. Uno mas, muy bien, uno mas. Every time he would say, of, of course, course, why, why not? not? Yeah. Every single time. Can I get like, another one? Of course, why not? No, it was so, so good. Dessert was amazing. We got the peach gyoza, yeah. which is like peach dumplings. I say 10 out of 10. So good. That's gonna be hard to top. And I don't feel full, like the portion sizes. I feel satisfied. Yeah. But I don't feel like, Stuff. Oh, I need to go to bed. So yeah, I think we're both happy with it. I, we can go run the town or we can just go to bed because it's been a long travel day. Yeah. Honestly, I don't know about you, Laura, but I might be switching over to the like non-cruise life. The all-inclusive the, the all, life. <laughs> yeah, the all-inclusive life because this is kind of better than cruises. This the has been better. pretty wonderful. Food's better, rooms are better, all-inclusive. You don't have to worry about the alcohol package. You get, you don't get to go to different countries technically, but I don't know. I might be, might be switching over to more land-based, all-inclusive stuff. Are you guys going to hate us if we don't cruise anymore? Please don't, please don't. Please.
But anyway guys, it has been a long day, so we're just gonna relax. We have some champagne on the side, chilling in these plastic cups. Looks like... Cups of pee. Yep, we're doing a little, we have a doctor's appointment tomorrow. Shut up. <laughs> but anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're new to our channel, make sure you hit subscribe, like this video, and I think we're gonna get in the hottie tubby. We're gonna jump in the hot tub that has two full-size seats, which I've never seen before. I think this is the button to start in, so. <gasps> I don't think we have enough water in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Okay, well, once we fill it up some more, we're gonna start the hot tub. Yeah. And if you guys enjoyed this video, go check out that video over there where we went on pretty much a cruise that was just like an all-inclusive. I know some of them are, like they, they're supposed to be, but this one actually felt like an all-inclusive resort. It's the equivalent of an all-inclusive adults-only resort, Virgin Voyages. Yeah, I have to admit, this is kind of nice. I told you. Yeah. Can I have my champagne? This is a good idea. I don't think I've ever been in a hot tub in a bedroom. It seems kind of unsafe, but yellow baby, we're in it's Mexico. Like cheesy and classy at the same time. 